What'd you do this weekend? I cut the grass, you? Well, on Friday, I logged onto the web, found out about a music festival, downloaded directions, got tickets, found out what to wear, even listened to a few sound clips to figure out what bands I wanted to hear. Well, the Spice Girls in town? No, tough guy. Sky! The Internet is the only resource that can be your personalized, customized guide to music. Sites like the Festival Finder will do all the hunting and gathering for you, no matter what kind of music you groove to. <laughs> Web landed me smack dab in the middle of the New England Ska Festival. Are you doing okay? Yeah, you're doing okay. But what is Ska? Starting in the year 1960, and getting stronger as we take this music called Ska into the 21st century. So are you ready for this music? As Jamaica was gaining its independence from Britain, Ska was born with bands like the Scatolites. These bands were mixing musical styles like jazz and R&B, forming a melting pot of melodies skillfully stirred around the beat. Sample the sounds of ska and virtually any other style of music at the AudioNet CD jukebox. You select the style, it finds the music. Ska has been likened to reggae, but without ska, there would be no reggae, no Bob Marley. He had the spirit and the sound, and which it works over the world. <laughs> it was in 1964 when Millie Small's My Boy Lollipop made the world take notice of Jamaica's musical offerings. The Women of Ska site guides you through the female pioneers of the early 60s up through today. Catastrophe and RudeNet are two online magazines that keep you in step with Ska news and culture. And with any culture, there's a language. Skanking? What is skanking? Dancing! 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 Choo -choo. And there's a look. How many times must you be told? You can even do a little window shopping online. With over 30 years in the kettle, Ska has boiled over. And the sounds are seeping into the mainstream through ska-influenced bands like the Mighty Mighty Boss Stones and No Doubt. That pathetic little me. Beth, I'm loving your segment. I'm a skanking road boy. Tell me about your friend Chucky. That's a bucket of the toaster. Toasters? <laughs> Back when I started playing this, it was still like... The, the 45 was the, was the uh, state of the art. Technology changes everything. The whole uh, concept of being able to have one-stop shopping where you can turn on your computer, email somebody, download the music onto your own restorable disc, even make up your own compilation. I think that's great. Yeah, there's uh, sites like RudeNet and um, the Audio Jukebox where you can actually download albums for free so you can sample them or... I think that's causing nightmares in the, uh, in the major labels right now because they have no real way of combating that. Now you're on both sides. I mean, you have the band and you have the record label. Does that create a conflict for you? Well, I figured, I find that the best way to win a, a game of tennis is to play both sides of the net. I wasn't gonna call you anyway. So, um, one thing helps the other. I can um, use the experience from one side of the coin to influence and help my decisions uh, for the other hats I wear. Can you describe Ska for me? Uh, ska is just basically, you know, funky groove, you know, like doing your own thing. And ska fans and bands groove on the web. It's like a library that's open to the entire world, and it's open all the time. Why is it important to maintain a website as a record company? Because it's a, it's, it's a facet of a developing modern culture that you can really be with that. It's like a really good way of like keeping in touch and developing a, a cutting-edge aspect to the label that a lot of the major labels can't get at. We're from New York, but don't let that bother you. There's not the sense of classic alienation that you get with, well, look, here's the label, here's the musicians, you're the audience, where there's like this big piece of uh, glass in between the audience and, and the guys on the stage. <laughs> to actually just get the relation working with the fans it's really something special so uh, don't let that piece of glass be between you and your music not a chance now we 
can't promise you'll wind up on stage dancing with the toasters, but we can promise that sites like Festival Finder and AudioNet CD Jukebox can really spice up your weekend. For everything from concert tickets to skate clips, GetWild.com is the front door of the web universe. Deep back